we're in Kika robbing Robin Square. There's about to be a demonstration here. We're expecting about a thousand people to protest the occupation on the anniversary of the Six Day War. Did you see Barack Obama's speech from Cairo? I thought it was the one single ray of hope for this area, for this region. And I hope things get implemented the way he visualizes them. George Bush encouraged the worst elements in Israel. He encouraged the worst policies of Israel. And I'm very glad that he's gone. The very fact of uh, Obama's election is a miracle. The fact that he is what he is is a miracle. Do you know who Benjamin Netanyahu is? <laughs> who? Benjamin Yahu? <laughs> the speech was inspiring. I hope that something comes of it. There's been many speeches without any uh, results. Um, if you were uh, intoxicated, would you say anything different than you're saying now? Very likely. You would? I probably would say certain things a little uh, more strongly than I would say them unintoxicated. But your, but, but your opinions would be the same though, wouldn't they? Yes. Sumchim alav, bonim alav. Obama, hu tikvatenu. Loved it. It's great. It's really fantastic. I didn't, I didn't actually see it, but he's a good guy. Excellent. Excellent. Absolutely. He must save us from ourselves. He is talking beautifully, but we are waiting uh, real pressure. And real pressure, meaning? Pressure from uh, Obama towards Israel. Like what to, kind of pressure? To stop the settlements, to, to, to stop the financial aid, to stop the military shipment of American uh, planes and military equipment. That's what we are waiting. This is a Barack Obama t-shirt. You're Israeli. Yes. What did you think of his speech? Magnificent, unbelievable. I think it's going to be very hard to make two-state solution. So it's very easy to say two-state solution. It's very hard to do it. It's almost like impossible And he's anymore. not going to do it alone. He sure. can't do it. It's up he to can. Israelis to do it. I don't think it's so easy because Israel will try to play all the, all its, uh, with all its bag of tricks. All his, uh, you know, with all the extortion uh, tactics of the APAC and everything. But... Uh, and maybe they'll start a war to divert the effort, yeah. sidetrack everything. But uh, I think Obama has... Uh, I think, I felt it's like the Gettysburg address, really. You see how few we are, that's about all the Israelis who really oppose the occupation. It's very small. We, most of the Israelis don't care about the occupation and about what goes on in the occupied territories, about the suffering of the Palestinians. I think it, it must come from the, the pressure must come from the outside I think it's the duty of the international community to act now from here there's no not enough I can't just look about what he said about Israel and Palestine but his whole his whole persona his whole way of being is about a world that I would like to live in the majority of Israelis they all say we want peace but I want a piece of this we have peace of a few bin Dostanim well that was sort of a peace but that to recognize the Palestinians as a people with full human rights, equal to our human rights, which means that we give up stuff that very, very few agree. And uh, yes, he has, to, he has to take a big stick and kick Israel in the butt. I'm an Israeli, 54 years. I came to one country, it did a 180 degree flip and became the antithesis. So I'm waiting for a big stick that will push us back to where we were. The real interests of the United States and Israel are identical. We need peace. We want peace. We want a new Middle East in which uh, Arabs and Israelis can live together and work together. And the Palestinian state will live next side by side with Israel in close cooperation with Israel. And I'm quite sure that I'll see this in my lifetime. And I'm 85 years old. So must come quite soon.